Nurses are on the front lines of health care, and there's a big demand for qualified nurses. Last week, we looked into the shortage going on around the country and right here in the Valley. And today, 27 First News anchor Julie Bursick talked with one center about nearly a dozen openings it needs to fill. Trish Allsweet is the residential care coordinator at Shepherd of the Valley. Nursing is a constant learning and involving uh, profession. The veteran nurse has 30 years under her belt and has seen a lot of changes in her field. Hey, that is most excellent. But one thing hasn't changed, the need for qualified nurses. It's critical. Um, without qualified nurses, we can't do what we do. Shepherd of the Valley's Human Resources Director says getting qualified nursing applicants is becoming more difficult. Um, everybody seems to be struggling with getting qualified uh, applicants that you know, the number of qualified applicants that they need. William says baby boomers who worked as nurses are starting to retire, so their jobs are open, and some of those same baby boomers are now living in facilities like Shepherd of the Valley. So we need more staff to care for them, and you know, so that's creating more positions, but then their their number of people that are going to school and in graduating and successfully completing the program is not equal to what is required. William says there are a lot of businesses looking at the same pool of nurses to fill openings. Nurse Trish says there are a lot of possibilities in nursing outside the walls of a hospital, like long-term care. That is where health care is trending right now. That's where reimbursements are trending right now. In Mahoning County, Julie Bursig, WKBN 27 First News.